Whoa, what is this? Hey, I'm being out. Let's go. Hare Krishna, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Today is Govardhan Puja, and we here at home have a transcendental cooking competition. On the one side, we have my dear husband, Pradyumna Nushma Das. He is an expert cook. He cooked for thousands of Sunday feasts and Tradayatras. He even owned a restaurant once. And on the other side, we have Venu Prabhu. He is now cooking for Radha Madhava sweets in the temple and is in general a very expert cook. Today, these two will have a cooking competition for Govardhan. Who will win? What do you think? <laughs> Let the challenge begin. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. He's just playing cool. He's just playing cool. <laughs> Who will be the judge? Mm. Mama and Lama. No! No! No way! <laughs> so what's happening to Dima Pooh? What are you doing now? Preparing for the Hanvi. Chickpea flour. So here, now we have this. This is like a creamy yogurt and chickpea flour. Some turmeric. Some asafoetida or hing, a little bit pepper. Usually they would put chili, but I think uh, whoever is tasting it at the end, they don't like chili so much. So, oh, oh they like chili a lot. We know actually, they put a lot of chili in everywhere. Whoever is tasting at the end will love it. Uh, <coughs> it smells a little bit like burnt milk. Hey, we know. It's because some milk got spilled on the burner. Is it? Yes. <laughs> you sure? I think so, yes. Or is it like special flavor, smoky flavor? No. <laughs> cooking milk. We do something else also, except um, cooking milk. You will see. Burning, burning, huh? Yes. Milk? Ooh. Oh, you had to film it just yes. now. Now start burning. Is that okay? What is this? Yes. Sweet rice? Sweet rice. So, Vamana, how do you like your sweet rice? Do you like it very sweet and do you like it thick or thin? It's cold and thick. Then you're going to love this sweet rice, I think. Cold and thick? Uh, you, 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 you're getting some extra information here or what? Of course, he, he's uh, your son. You already well, have all the extra information. It's, it's cooking down the kanvi. Uh -huh. They make it the right, right thickness. I think it's also... Oh. Pradyumna Prabhu, who has forgotten whether he puts salt in the kanvi mix or not. So, Pradyumna Prabhu, how are you feeling about your chances of pleasing Giriraj at this point in time? I can just try my best. And does trying your best include putting salt twice in the kanvi? Maybe yeah. he wants it very salty, then maybe, yeah, maybe he... Mm, what do you put inside? Some saffron. Saffron? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To give it just a little extra nice color and a bit of aroma and flavor. You know, when you stop soft in cooking, he even forgets to film. Getting ready, getting there, getting there. So, so look at this, look at this. Okay, you put it here. And then you smear it. Very flat. Have you seen this before, Vamana? That's kind of, it's a very long time I made this. Gujarati mothers seeing me now like holding the hand like, <laughs> what is he doing? On behalf of the whole I love my food team, <laughs> our apologies to all the Gujarati Matachis. <laughs> but hey, at least you tried, you know. I never thought I will see a day when a German will be trying to, an Austrian will be trying to cook uh, uh, khandui. So yeah, at least you get points for trying. Points for trying? So one, one point for sure? <laughs> Usually we would use coconut, fresh coconut is the best, but I uh, we didn't get fresh coriander. Mm. This is kind of the first prep ready. Okay, okay, not bad. I like the look of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm 
making the sugar syrup here and uh, then I'm going to put in some blanched and powdered almonds that I've already prepared and we are going to make a badam burfi but with a difference. Now what is this? So I'm making a badam burfi and uh, yeah I just made a sugar syrup and put in the almonds. This is the secret ingredient. This is uh, the extract of uh, beetroot which I made earlier in the morning and this is to give it uh, a red color uh, so of, when we offer anything to the Lord we don't use anything synthetic or like we try to avoid store bought or chemical stuff so I'm going to add it very slowly a little bit at a time yes now I think we are slowly getting there cute little, cute little ladus mm -hmm. well they're still not Finished. Not finished, huh? I'm roasting some cashews, some ginger. That smells so good. I love roasted paprika. It gives such a nice taste. When you roast paprika like almost blackish. It's such a nice taste. Yeah. I mix this all up together. This will be the sauce for this the sachi. Nice sauce. Look at that. Mm. Nice. Who loves paneer? I love paneer. I love paneer too. I don't think there's anyone who doesn't love paneer. Paneer is so good. This will be my win. I'm feeling so hungry now. You're hungry? <laughs> Peter's hungry. Okay, this is the ready paneer. And you? This is koa. This is they're going to be the base for the Mathura Peras. Yes. Uh, We're also running out of time a little bit. I was not expecting that it is going to take this much time and uh, yeah, we are going to run short of time actually. Okay, I finished another prep here. Wow. Onion. Onion sauce. Someone, someone. Someone made this for us and sent it to us. Very sweet. This is the most critical part of the thing. It needs constant stirring. Because if, if I stop even for like two seconds, this is going to burn. Very intense, very intense. Hey. This is not a very, um, uh, it's not like a cooking show. It's like, it's a, like a real cooking. Next prep. Making the dough for the alu padra. Are you? Are you? You're good in the you cook here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have quite a bit of chaos in the kitchen now. <laughs> oh no! What happened? It's difficult to film and cook at the same time. Oh, Krishna, my God. On top, that's potato. Usually, you can put a lot of spices on there, but because my kids don't like spices so much. I put it without, so that they give me the highest possible points. This will be the favorite prep for them. Alu Patra, I think they will love it. My only chance to defeat Venom. So that's our koa done. It took three hours to boil down all the milk and turn it into koa. Now I'm super running out of time and but yeah I think I have about like an hour and a half so I can manage. <laughs> How many preps? How many preps he didn't want to do in the beginning? He said something like 20 something, 15. If I was in my kitchen and I did not have to film it, I, I would be able to do it. <laughs> <laughs> There's always excuses. So next step. Here, yeah, it's now we're rolling the whole thing. So, what's coming up here? What a milk sweet? Yes, this is we are making sandesh. So, I'm trying to make a sitafal sandesh or custard apple sandesh. 
this custard. Yes. Sita for very nice food. Yes. And they're in season now. So it's always best to offer the Lord seasonal uh, fruits and vegetables. So yeah, and then there's a Bengali specialty called Kacha Gola. So I'm trying to make like a kach, uh, Sita Fal Kacha Gola. Let's see how it works out. Govardhan is happy now. How do we know who won? Let's, let's see. We have some judges. We hired some judges, some food critiques, and they will be like very precise and then see what's the best prep. Are you nervous? I am very, very nervous, and I'm still making my one final last prep. <laughs> he just made sweets, you know. <laughs> what do you mean, just made sweets? What do you mean, just? You know how much time it takes to make sweets? That kids love sweets, sweets, and it's easy to win. Ah, so you are already afraid of losing, is it? You look get this. The judges have arrived. Okay, so you have numbers one to five. Each prep you will give points. You can also judge the look of it. So five is the best, and, and one is like <laughs> not the not the best. This is banya butter masala with um, alu patra. <laughs> I didn't bribe them. It's all fair. It's yes, all yes, a fair I, contest. How fair is this? <laughs> Look how fair the judges are. Amazing. <laughs> Okay, but then it's beginning with the alupatra. Alupatra? Well, I'm going for a combination. Mm. Mm, it's crunchy. Mm. I like the crunch. And the softness inside. Could be more spices. I specifically put less spices because of the kids. First okay, alupatra alu first. Wow, oh, yeah. Three, four, okay. Eleven points. And then the, the sapchi. No, but Mini doesn't like paneer. Another three. I don't like paneer, really. Oh, okay. But it's still a three. It's not like. Nine. It's not like a two. Not bad. It's not, not bad. bad. I just don't really. Paneer is not really my favorite okay. thing to eat. <laughs> this is. Kanvi. Yeah, Kanvi is very special. Not everyone, it's not everyone's favorite, but you can also, even if you don't like it, like you can still touch it. Like, wow, it's like a very interesting prep. Excuse me. <laughs> I thought you wanted to be honest and fair and unbiased. But, but still, if it like looks really awesome and it's like a very special and unique taste, you can still give it the highest number. You forgot some spices in here, huh? Or maybe the salt was uh, two times? <laughs> no. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get the coconut. This is really good, but we would ne really need like a coconut dip or something. Or something. Like, yeah. That oh. then would be like, oh, then I would give it definitely a five. Give the number, fair, fair and square. That means it gives a four, wow, three, two. Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Interesting taste. Interesting taste. Okay. But but you also can charge like the the effort and the, the <laughs> It's a sweet Prabhu. What should I do? Daddy, I don't think you have much of a chance. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> I mean sweet is always the best. You'll figure it out. What is this? Burfi. Burfi. Hmm? If I yeah. find one. No, 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 no. That's no. my one. That's my one. Okay, Mami, what do you say? Fire! Wow. Fire! Oh. Okay. 
Okay, let's try the pink one. What's the color? The color is from uh, beetroot actually. And the uh, barfi is made from almonds. So it's like marzipan. Yeah, this is marzipan, yes. Or in India we call it like badam barfi. <laughs> beetroot marzipan. <laughs> beetroot marzipan. Can, can you, can you taste, taste the beetroot? beetroot? Something is off. Something is off. Ooh, ooh, the numbers are plumbing. <laughs> I think and this one. How did you like the earthy beetroot ball? Ooh. Still giving a three? <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three, three, huh? Uh, you gave for my okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mm. I call it malpura, but malpura, this is like balls, fried balls in yogurt sauce mm. with jaggery and jaggery taste. Oh, more? Yeah. But still, you have to taste some sweet rice first. Oh, five? Five. That was good. Wow. Okay, now it's the sweet rice. A mini. Mama's sweet rice pepper? <laughs> a bit. A bit. Mm. Mm. Don't film me while eating. <laughs> five? You said it was not so good. But still good enough for a five. Wow. Mm. And you thought my family is, is on my side, huh? I'm not too sure anymore. You like to eat more. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is the clear winner, huh? Which is which is the best part from all? This? Okay, that, that's a, uh. Okay, so what's the result? All right, so you got 11 for alu patra, mm -hmm. 9 for paeer patra masala, mm. 9 for kanui, and 15 for makura, making your total a grand total of 44. 44? Yeah. Okay. Then I got eleven for sandesh, oh. thirteen for barfi, mm -hmm. eight for the beetroot barfi, and twelve for sweet rice, making my grand total. Would you believe it or not? Yeah. Forty-four. No. No. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. <Yeah. laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, okay. We should, we should tell we should tell the audience members that this was totally not planned. Like we have to make sure and tell them like this was not planned. No, that was not planned. Not at all. That's funny. Okay, Omino, congratulations. Well, congratulations. You, your to first you. place. <laughs> <laughs> well, my beetroot barfi let me down, I think. I, I, I wonder what went wrong because I obviously didn't taste anything. So yeah, I mean, I, I knew I have very unique special items. I knew that the country is tricky. I don't like the kids don't like it usually. Yeah, and uh, I made everything like very mild without spices and everything. So usually I put more for the, for the kids. Made it a little bit more spicy. Okay, should we eat? Yes, why not? Uh, oh. I want to dip it in one. My back. I actually really like it. I like the, the texture. Mm, I really like the candy actually. It's so good. It's so spicy. So, Govardhan Puja is very important for devotees. Not just in Mayapur, in Vrindavan, in any Krishna, uh, devotee of Krishna. Because on this day, Krishna actually uh, stopped the uh, Indra Puja before the Brajwasis were worshipping Indra. But then, through logic and arguments, and ultimately through some emotional manipulation, which Krishna is known for, he convinced the Brajwasis not to worship Indra anymore and instead worship the Govardhan hill. And uh, the, what is the best way to worship the Govardhan hill? By offering him lots and lots and lots of 
होगा सो दिस इज दिस इज वाई वी हैव अ फीस एंड वी क्रिएट वी कुक अ लॉर्ड प्रसादम एंड ऑफर ऑफर टू गिरिराज सो फॉर दोज ऑफ यू डोंट नो दिस इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ गोवर्धन पूजा More everything. More everything. Sachi <laughs> and I think we know you're an excellent cook. Mm-hmm. I think you won. You fully okay, went into you. it. You fully went into it, making all the nice, nice sweets. I think this wasn't even a competition. To you're a professional. You have run restaurants, and clearly, what you did today in the time available. I was always, yeah, I was always cooking for business. But you always cooking for the Lord. It's so much. It's you, can, you can feel it. You can taste it. You can taste the bath. You didn't even taste. I just. I'm eating already. <laughs> I had the sweet rice. No, Perfect. I, it's amazing. I don't even want to taste the sweet now. Your paneer butter masala is melting on my tongue. That's all I know. It's just because I deep fried everything. <laughs> I just deep fried everything and put a lot of sugar and you yeah, are like my food is just you no know, maybe for the tongue but your food is your food is for the soul let let us let us know in the comments what what prep did you did you like the most <laughs> without tasting it <laughs> you can let us know in the comments and uh, should we cook more often together it's another question